Okay, today I'm going to demonstrate how to do a certain type of problem that's common in ultrasound physics, and that is to compute the time needed for an impulse an impulse to travel uh, from the transducer reach an interface and come back again okay so this is the uh, going to be the round trip time I'm going to label that here and um, some information that I need to do this is the speed of uh, sound and soft tissue which is equal to uh, 1000 540 meters per second and that can also be if you convert the units on this using standard unit conversion methods you'll find that's equal to 1.540 millimeters per microsecond that's millimeters per microsecond okay so that's the velocity of sound and soft tissue now if I think about um, speed uh, and I'm going to use letter C for speed because I'm using that letter up here think about speed as being um, distance divided by time if I'm, and again, if I'm using a round trip, if I need to find the round trip time, I need the round trip distance here. Okay. Uh, then, if I wanted to solve for time, I need to multiply both sides by t, and that's round trip time, and divide both sides by c. So here my t's cancel, and here my c's cancel. I now have a new formula which it says that time equals the round trip distance divided by the speed of propagation okay so my uh, round trip my one-way distance is three centimeters so the distance uh, the round trip distance is equal to twice the one-way distance and since that's three centimeters my round trip distance is going to be six centimeters now since my formula here is in millimeters it might be nice to convert my distance to millimeters and so I know that there's um, 10 millimeters and one centimeter and so I can easily convert that to be uh, 60 millimeters okay so now I can plug in my round trip distance of 60 millimeters and use my um, speed of propagation of sound of 1.54 uh, millimeters per microsecond and doing that on it. Okay, so I'm just going to do that calculation on a calculator um, and so if I take, if I have 60 millimeters divided by 1.54 millimeters per microsecond, um, and uh, that's 60 divided by 1.54, and so that's, um, if I look at my original number, it's limited to three sig figs here, and so that's. Um, 38.9 that rounds up to 39.0 okay. so that's uh, so my final time is T equals 39.0 and the units come out to be microseconds so if I look at this problem my millimeters cancel I have per microsecond on the bottom of a fraction. One way to think about that is multiplying uh, by microsecond over microsecond. So on the top of this, or on the bottom of the fraction, on the denominator, the microseconds cancel. 
and I'm left with units of just microseconds for my final answer.